Alright guys, welcome back. This is just a quick little video here when we reach the top of climb into our cruise phase of flight. Um, like I said before, well, let me just clear that up. Um, since we're in cruise now, we don't know, we no longer need this in above mode. We'll just go ahead and put this into all. That way our CCAS is scanning evenly on uh, above and below the aircraft. Uh, once we get to cruise, we also do uh, a status check. So we'll go ahead and come through here. Now these are all your system's push buttons. Uh, very nicely modeled here by Flight Factor. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with uh, how I've got all these system pages modeled pretty, pretty darn accurately. Um, what I like to do, instead of clicking each one, all you gotta do is uh, come and hit the All button and we can sift through each one uh, individually. So on the engine page, obviously make sure everything's in the green, uh, checking our oil quantity, vibes. Um, these vibes look, uh, a little interesting here. Two point. I mean, it's still in the green, but um, it must be those uh, CFM engines. Um, that looks good. To our bleed page here. Okay, there's. Uh, we were just checking to make sure everything's in the green, everything's in line and working. This is interesting. Uh, this should be closed. This high pressure valve uh, should be closed with the engines. Uh, at 84% and 1, yeah, so this is uh, this is inaccurate here. I don't know why they are showing these high pressure valves open. Uh, it's probably a still work in progress. Uh, these would be closed. Um, I've actually had this in the real aircraft where one valve would show open, um, and there's actually a write-up in the uh, maintenance log that we do, and they wire the valve shut, and then we have to manually do some procedures uh, when you're flying that airplane with, with that MEL. Uh, for now, we'll just leave it. it. Looks good. We'll say it looks good. Come over here to the cabin pressure page. Um, you can see that our landing elevation is in auto, and it's already uh, set up to schedule our cabin pressurization for landing in Phoenix Sky Harbor, which the field elevation is 1,120 feet. Um, you can see our inlets, our uh, vents are closed here. We're in the in-flight configuration. Our electrical page. Uh, this looks good. Everything is running normal. I think there's some inconsistencies there, but I'm not going to comment too much on this. I'm not sure um, exactly what is uh, supposed to be modeled and uh, not modeled, but for right now, there's no major issues. Hydraulics, this is a big one we always want to check. Uh, typically, once we get up here into cruise, these hydraulic quantities uh, tend to be a little bit lower than they're showing right now. Obviously, if they're in the green box there, it's perfect, but uh, with the change in pressure and no load on the hydraulic system, you may see the quantity needle actually somewhere here in the white. Um, but as long as you're not losing pressure and you're not in the yellow, uh, we are good to go. Fuel page, make sure everything's burning balanced. Uh, right now we've got, looks like 40, I guess that's 40 kilograms in the center tank. We're not gonna burn that out. Uh, probably unusable fuel, and now we're Burn it from the respective uh, wing tanks. That looks good. We can see our uh, fuel on board and our fuel used. APU, nothing to see there, should be off. Here is uh, something interesting, our air conditioning page. We have our hot air uh, trim valves. That's what these three enunciators are and our uh, selected zones. So one thing I want to try is, let's see if this actually is modeled at all here. Let me go up to the cabin. So let's say we want to increase the temperature a little bit. Uh, say we're chilly. Let's go ahead and warm up the, the cockpit. And you can see the trim air valve is allowing more hot air in. So how this works is we have hot air coming from the engine bleeds. And that is cycled through via the trim hot air trim valves, which are right here. And it goes into a mixing unit and then uh, pumped into the cabin. Pack 2 controls the forward and aft cabin zones and pack one is directly for the cockpit um, so that's pretty neat that you can see uh, they've got a little simulation there um, yeah that's working that's uh, quite nice uh, a typical configuration is we leave these right about here uh, for in flight now the forward cabin and aft cabin these are just basic parameters for the flight attendants to set the actual temperature. So when we set the uh, forward cabin and aft cabin temperature zone, the flight attendants actually can control the 
actual temperature of the cabin, plus or minus uh, so many degrees, um, it, for lack of better uh, knowledge, I guess it's just adding it's around, I don't know, 10 degrees plus or minus um, 15 degrees, so they can control uh, exactly what they want from the back, from their flight attendant panel. We're just controlling the trim air valve. So that's neat to see. Um, back over here, door page, this should all be closed. Um, one interesting note about this page here is our crew oxygen. Now, anything wrong with uh, these pages here, anything that's amber or any malfunction, you're gonna get an associated ECAM with it. So by going through here and checking these push buttons, it's kind of redundant because we should have an ECAM message if something was wrong. Say there's a fuel pump fail or something, it would show amber here, cross line amber, and we would also have an ECAM. However, the only uh, page where something would not have an associated ECAM would be this oxygen. If our crew oxygen was low out of the required uh, oxygen level, or pressure, this would be amber, and we would not have an associated ECAM. So that's one thing to note as we go through these status pages. Wheels look good. Zero degrees Celsius, huh? All right. Uh, flight control page. Bring it up here at full. You can see now that the flaps are retracted, so look at our aileron position. I think I said in the last video, I may have misspoke with the flaps retracted, they should be uh, in this area here. So aileron droop when the flaps are extended will be here and when the flaps are retracted they go to the full neutral position between these two dash lines which they are. Um, our rudder you can see our rudder limiting these two green carrots here as the aircraft speed increases. Uh, rudder limiting is now provided by the uh, flight control computers so we don't even if you went full left rudder you would only get deflection to uh, this mark here. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty uh, pretty good. And that takes care of that. And we, you know, go ahead and uh, worry cruise seatbelt sign off. And that's pretty much it. We're sitting up here monitoring our instruments. Off we go. All right, guys, I'll catch you uh, here on the descent shortly.